Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Matthew and today we are doing another figure review. Today we're doing a review of the U2's Toho Classic Series Mothra figure. Yes, that's right. Originally released in 2022, this Mothra figure is of course a rendition of her classic design in old Toho Godzilla films. Featuring the old Showa era films, uh, Heisei era films, and Millennium era films. It's essentially just kind of like an amalgamation, kind of standard design of Mothra, but of course in a U2's form. So, does this figure live up to the expectations, or will this figure basically fall out like a mosquito on a fly swatter? Yes, that was the best I can come up with on the spot. Let's take a look. The sculpt and paint, I can outright say off the gate, is amazing. For the design of Mothra, they completely nailed what's on the design. So, obviously what stands out is first, the face, which is what a lot of people will look at. Now, standard to Mothra, she's got the perfect kind of white fuzzy patterns around the eyelids. It just looks so cloudy almost. It really looks amazing. And the sculpted details, all the bumps, to create that fur effect, even though it's not actually fuzzy, it's still really cool. The black mandibles look pretty good. They aren't sharp, which is a good thing, I'll say. Uh, the mouth is actually pretty underwhelming to me. I like its sculpt and I like its detailing, but the fact that it's the same color as the brown kind of stripe and the brown antennas here, it, it just doesn't really look all that great. Maybe if they darkened it a little bit, I feel like that would have been a little bit better. Now, let's go over the eyes, which I know a lot of people don't like the U2's eyes on their Godzilla or Kong figures. These ones actually look really good. In fact, I bet if you were to just take the U2's eyes off, it would just look like a standard chibi Mothra figure, and you wouldn't even be able to tell it's U2's until you look at the bottom. We'll save that for later. But the U2's eyes on here, they look really good. I honestly they feel like this was probably the best way, because if they just made the eyes blue and didn't even include the blue eyes, then it just would have looked way off. Coming to the side of the figure, you can obviously tell that the wings are basically one-to-one, -one, almost, kind of more simplified for U2s, but in hindsight, they're one-to-one -one with the actual design, and it looks amazing. You can tell that the printing or the painting was done excellently. Like, there is not a single mess up with these paint lines, and that's really, really impressive, especially for something that's this small. Although I will especially comment this part of the wing, which honestly, does that mean, or does this look like some sort of pumpkin cyclops, you know, for Halloween, which is only like a few days when I'm recording this video. Of course, you got some more lining, what's kind of with some kind of like darker kind of mustardy yellow, which is also on this side of the wing and this side of the wing as well, which honestly, I don't see Mothra's fur. I see Ghidorah's scales. I bet you can't unsee that as well. Mothra has six arms in total, one, two, three, four, five, six, and they are individually sculpted and I don't know if it's painted, probably, probably not, but still looks really good. And I like how it's a subtle different color from the body. And for the back, you got a lot going on here. You got more of the wing pattern, you got more of the fuzzy white, and you even got like the little abdomen area where it's kind of patterning between dark brown and lighter brown, like mustard yellow. And it honestly looks really well. So overall for the sculpt and paint, I would have to say that this figure is an absolute win. I honestly think it's really well done. Although I would have liked a bit more, say, detailing or darker paint on the bake area, it still looks really well. And now for accessories, which there are no accessories. And yes, I know some people are going to mention the flight stand. I don't know if the flight stand is supposed to come off. But mine does not, and I'm willing to suspect it doesn't, because if you look very, very carefully here, you see those bubbles? That is glue 
holding these two pieces down. So that leads me to believe that there's also glue in here as well. So no, since it's permanently attached, I do not consider the flight stand to be an accessory. So for some size comparisons, here she is next to some NECA Mothras from Godzilla King of the Monsters, which we have NECA version 1 and NECA version 2, the poster version. And here she is next to the Bandai minifigure Mothra, which, as you can tell what I meant by the wings, it's practically just a more simplified one-to-one -one version of it. And for some more size comparisons, for you longer time viewers of the channel, you might know why these guys are out. But here is the NECA Godzilla 2014, the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2021 from Godzilla vs. Kong, and the Playmates Space Godzilla. And for the figure comparison you guys have probably been waiting for the most, here she is next to the Funko Pop Mothra. Figure comparison is coming soon. And since there's no way Jose I'm bringing all of these guys off the shelf at once, here are here she is at least, compared to all of the other YouTube's Godzilla figures that have been released so far, featuring in the back the GBK figures, and in the front line, all the Toho figures. We've got Wave 2 coming soon, or I guess Wave 3, uh, with Hedor and Rodan confirmed. And of course, rounding out the crew. Here we've got the entirety of Toho's Big Five. Ghidorah, Godzilla, Mothra, Mechagodzilla, and Rodan. But with that being said, is this figure a hit, or is this figure a miss? I'm going to have to go with a hit. Sure, the coloring is very simplistic, and I definitely do feel like, especially for the price point, it should have been at least a little bit more detailed, especially with like the beak area. But hey look, it's a chibi little toy. It's a figure. And honestly, I think that your mileage may vary if you want this. If you want something a bit more cheaper, then I would look elsewhere. That probably leads to the figure comparison right there. <laughs> but in terms of what this figure has to offer, it's really good. In fact, why stop at Mothra? Get the whole set. They're coming out with more. I mean, they just unveiled a new Godzilla mug, Mothra plushie, and Godzilla plushie. I'm still debating on the plushies, but I know I'm going to get that mug. I like that mug. But anyways, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like to definitely subscribe to the channel. Jesus loved you. God bless you all. Go out there and spread the gospel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.